Tonight, St. Pete police say they have stepped up patrols on Coffee Pot Boulevard Northeast. This after a 23 year old woman says she was almost kidnapped at gunpoint while jogging on Wednesday morning. Our Carson Chambers is live in St. Pete and Carson police shared some really good information with you that you should be given to other people as well, right? Right, and we talked to a lot of runners, a lot of walkers who have actually been out uh, along the sidewalk uh, today, and they just put themselves in this position. They're not really sure what they would have done if it happened to them. So we went to police. We got some good advice about what you should do. It's definitely something to be scared or nervous about. Mason Kathy doesn't run with pepper spray or other weapons. She's got Zoe. I think the police have got a be around in this area a little bit more. You know, we we take it for granted that it's a super nice neighborhood and you know, a little bit more affluent. Kathy got quick word about the attempted kidnapping on her run route through her network. Even with Zoe, she's making changes running in the afternoon instead of mornings. You know, keeping your privacy on Strava, you know, is a is a common app that shows your running route or even on Garmin and it shows where your home is. And so, um, you know, change your privacy settings. Sergeant Mitch Deddy is a runner too. He says, keep an eye behind you and look people firmly in the eye as you run past them. It actually notifies people that you're aware that they're there. You can describe them, that you've seen them. And bad guys typically don't like that. They want to be, you know, secretive, hidden. If you're going to carry a weapon like pepper spray, practice with it. Keep it in the same place every time so that it's almost muscle memory. This suspect pointed a gun at the jogger Wednesday around 6 a.m. and told her to get in. Luckily, she didn't and ran to safety to call 911. OK, because police say that he was pointing a gun at her, that's really all she saw, except she did, did get a description of the actual vehicle. It was a burnt orange crossover. Police say they're working leads, including looking at surveillance video in the area. We're live in St. Pete. I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.